France 24's chief foreign editor Rob Parsons joins me on the set for a bit more analysis. Now, Rob, this has been a marathon round of diplomacy for the French president. Did he manage at least to put the brakes on the threat of an eventual invasion of Russia into Ukraine? <laughs> well, he says he did. Um, he says that he got a commitment from President Putin not to escalate. Uh, the Russians have since pretty much denied that. They said that as for the commitment for pulling troops out of Belarus when they complete their joint exercises with the Belarusian armed forces, that was already planned anyway. So that wasn't any sort of concession. Uh, but, but on the, 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 the sort of broader idea of a promise of not to escalate from President Putin, they say that nothing of the kind was made. <clears throat> Who knows? You know, may, 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 maybe it was, maybe it wasn't. It's interesting, though, that President Putin did say uh, on Monday after their talks that there was room uh, for expansion on some of the ideas that President Macron had suggested, that there could be further steps down the road. Certainly, I, th I think most people welcome the idea that diplomacy now is gaining traction. The UN Secretary General, for one, said he really welcomed it. It's a major step in the right direction. It will be followed next week by Chancellor Scholz going to Kiev and, uh, and to Moscow. So whilst the, the, the top leaders are talking, uh, hope will start to grow that perhaps conflict can be avoided. But, you know, at this stage, it's really, I think, far too soon to start talking about de-escalation. President Macron himself said, look, this is something that, if it's going to happen, it's going to take months rather than days or weeks. And what about the Ukrainian president and all of this, Volodymyr Zelensky? Could there be a way forward on some issues here, particularly in regard to a potential restructuring of European security? Yeah, well, this is one, one of the big questions. I think probably uh, President Zelensky is a little bit nervous about the idea being put forward by President Macron of a sort of new European security architecture. It's an idea he's been keen on for quite a long time, uh, but it's also an idea that the Russians have been putting forward as well. And I think he's just a little bit, bit, bit concerned that uh, if some sort of new general architecture is, is put together, uh, that Ukraine could lose out on it, that the, the way, the path to future NATO membership uh, might be barred to Ukraine. It has to be said, however, that although P President Macron might himself be quite sympathetic towards that idea, it's not a, it's not a, a, a change uh, in Europe that he can affect himself. It has to be done through NATO, through the United States and others. Uh, but I think it makes Zelensky and Ukraine nervous when they hear a major power in Europe like France talking about the reform of uh, the security structure. Remember, it's only a couple of years ago since President Macron himself said NATO is brain dead. That caused a lot of alarm bells to ring in Europe, particularly among the East European countries. Uh, Poland, Polish President uh, Duda yesterday had a meeting in, in Berlin together with Schultz and, uh, and Macron as well. I'm sure he will have been tel telling President Macron, look, We've just got to stick to the essentials here, and that is preventing an invasion by Russia of Ukraine. Rob, thanks for that. France 24's Rob Parsons.